Hey guys, welcome back to Small World Snooker Championship 2009 and part 8 of our career mode. In today's episode, we start the UK Championships against the opponent that we finished the Shanghai Masters against. It's the rematch against Ronnie the Rocket or Sullivan. Uh, and we'll either be playing Dominic Dale or Stephen Hendry in the next round. Thank you for all the incredible support on the series so far. You guys are really, really enjoying it. I'm thoroughly enjoying it as well. We might even go and play the Masters um, after this. I know a couple of years commented saying I should do the, the Masters on this game instead of 11. We'll see. We'll see how this tournament goes. If it's, if it's short, we'll, we'll play the Masters as well. But uh, since we didn't take part in the Grand Prix, we have actually dropped to number two in the world. So Ronnie has uh, took the number one spot. Um... And as you can see, it's five wins apiece. So this is the decider, really, of uh, of whether we could be classed as a better player than Roddy O'Sullivan. But here we go. Show them what you were made of. Go in there and play the best they've ever seen. You heard the man. But yeah, I do have a little bit of a cold, so apologies about that. I've, I've put this episode off as long as possible to try and recover but unfortunately not the UK championships without further ado let's give a warm welcome to the players so here we go coming into the arena we're going in first I think there you go uh, a capacity crowd for us today <laughs> there we are Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the arena, Ronnie the Rocket O'Sullivan. And there he is. The man we beat 10-8 in the final of the uh, Shanghai Masters. It's going to be a tough match, most definitely. And certainly in a shorter format, Ronnie's more dangerous than, it, than ever, really. But what a fantastic break-off that is. To start us off, shut up, John. Not looking phased by his opponent at all, and he won't do. You know, he had his chances uh, against us in the uh, Shanghai Masters final, but uh, we played particularly well that day, and that is a nice little nudge off the knuckle. on the cushion, but he's found safety. He's went for it, and he's got it. But he's not I'm really sure on a colour. He started well here. He's just oh. got to develop the balls now. Well, this is a chance for Roddy early on. Pretty good shape here. The position looks good. If you remember, in that final, we made he three centuries in the opening three frames. Great cue ball control. And Roddy never really recovered from that. Set himself up nicely for the next ball. Is Ronnie going to do the same to us? He might be thinking of a pink for this next shot. He needs the cue ball to play ball, so to speak. He'll be looking at the pink again after this red. Oh, that's had to break, He's going surely. He's to have to utilise the cushion to get out of this. He's hit the red, and that'll be four points to his opponent. Well... Hopefully that's a foul to miss, and it is, so Ronnie will be taking that again from where he was, because that was an absolutely horrific attempt. He's got back to back. Do that. Well. Do that. <laughs> well, I'm quite happy to sit here all day if he's uh, going to play that shot. Is that number three? He's in real danger well, of throwing this one away. I, d I just don't know what he's attempted here. But uh, we're going to keep putting him back. This time he's played a different shot. I don't know what that was. He's just gone completely insane here. But apparently that's uh, not a miss. special shot indeed. So can't keep putting him back in this frame, unfortunately. Oof. The blue looks about his best chance. This is uh, half a chance now to put Ronnie in his place. 
be spoilt for choice here. So I don't think through a little bit here. Position for the black. I think he's probably got the requisite angle to be nicely on the next red. That pot went down cleanly, and he's left himself on. Shouldn't be any problems here. He's going to keep on this black again, I think. It's quite a tough black. I think uh, blue's probably the best hope we've got. And that's a nice pot. The red on the edge of the cluster should go. Just come back a little bit too far, unfortunately, so... Well. It'll be just fine if the cue ball doesn't misbehave. Again, not ideal, but uh, not too bad. He'll be hoping he's done enough to sneak this frame. I wonder if he'll hold for the green. It's a good pot, and he's well poised for the next. Bad. That's a There's no easy shot. positional shot here. I think he'll have to circumnavigate really the table. This is a tough pot for him here. So 27 points a lead. This needs to go in. Oh, and it does. What a pot. Great pot, and he's controlled the cue ball perfectly. Surprised we didn't uh, get a round of applause there. But never mind. There's several roads he so can go 33 around. the lead, 59 on the table. So we'll stun this uh, pink in. Just no two red. more reds, followed by colours, and he's home. It wasn't beyond the rails, so expected a better positional shot there. That's played perfectly. Potting the pink again represents the sensible option. So just this pink and one more red to take That's a 1-0 lead. That's a good solid lead. break, and it should put him in good... If he gets this red, the frame's his. That set himself up nicely for the next ball. Good position. Who was a cucumber, is he? So what we on? Uh, I'm trying to work out whether we can make a centre here. I'm not certain we can, but uh, we'll play the pink anyway. That one could prove to be a frame clincher. Cue ball, not so ideal. 55. Position, he should be okay. Unlucky. Uh, we just can't make it by three points, but... Uh, Still a decent chance no to, to get a good break. I think he'll have to circumnavigate the table. That's the second time you've said that this break. He's beginning to build a decent break here. Position's not good. Yeah. It's not, to be fair. So I'm just go, going to whack it round the table. You never know. Well, there you go. That break of 63, though, takes us to the first frame. And we now lead 1-0. He needs to get the cue ball back to the ball to be safe. So, play with a bit of top spin, swing it round. Ooh, need the green to come to our rescue, and I don't think it has. He should have killed off any potential danger by putting the cue ball safe. That's Playing it in a very that. risky man manner. Playing it at that pace. There was always a chance that it would He'll roll off. Opportunity to break into the cluster, I'm sure. So. We've seen him successfully use spin in the past. Will we try some here? Well, where's the reds? They're okay. There's several roads you can go down here. He's worked the cue ball into a good position there. I think he's probably got the requisite angle to be nicely on the next red. The black goes down then. So well, it's chance. obvious that this shot could land him on the black. Another crack at the black would be nice. He's thinking about having a crack at this green. Get this pink back on its spot. Admittedly, I was playing for the black there, but... Uh... Takes the pink and he's tried. 
think there's uh, a pretty decent compromise. The blue looks about his best chance. Well, I think this black goes. It's uh, tight, but I think it does. He'll be hoping he's going to to sneak this frame. Well, there's no shortage of reds available for him. That wasn't easy, and he's not bad for the next. This is a good chance to get position on a red. Just got a stun run through here. That was a nice blue. The one near the pink's worth a look. There's several roads you can go down here. Come back a couple Pink's of inches, down. play the plant. Oh, I'll play this one. I didn't he expect to be on this one. Shot for breakfast. We know that black goes. Too much emphasis placed on the pot there. Oh, John definitely doesn't think this black goes, even though we've potted it before I think he'll be targeting the black again so. he'll be fine here as long as the cue ball doesn't roll off gotta be careful with those reds it's there. over the middle but that's uh, played perfectly we spoiled for choice here so 60 points in front it's already here shot around the table if he wants position for his next shot it's okay. What an amazing shot. Just this is red. And any colour. Let's take a two frame lead. That red nearly didn't go in. This is frame ball. That makes the frame safe. Can you now hammer home with that? He can take his foot off the gas here. He's well ahead. So, all eyes on the sentry now. Yes. Well, he's looking very relaxed. Is he meditating over there? Just knock that red out, which is... Uh... Helpful. He's beginning to build a decent break here. And honestly, this has uh, been a very good performance so far. Obviously, Ronnie missing that red. Good for a century. A calm head needed. First frame, Ronnie. Uh, just played a few terrible escapes from a self inflicted snooker. We've done the rest, really. Break of 63 in the first frame. 94 and counting here. Just got to try and avoid the green the here. And out of quite happen. So the position is tougher in from here. This yellow might not go in. No, and it, it doesn't. Tough. But with that break of 100, we now take the second frame and lead 2 0 with only three frames to play. Behind the bulk line, he should be safe. Well, he needs the brown to come to his rescue. Yeah, it hasn't. Well, to get a pot here, isn't afraid of taking risks when necessary, if only to keep his opponent guessing.
Got to be careful not to go in off here. That's okay. He's going to take on the black. Not a straightforward pot, but not overly tough either. So a chance to dump Ronnie O'Sullivan out of the UK Championships in the first round. I guess he wants a bit of power on his shot if he's to get around the table for his next. He potted that emphatically, but he's not left anything easy. Well, a little bit unlucky there, to be honest. Tony really be on one red. Position's not good. Oh, that needs to pull up. Wow. He's made a marvellous pot there. But the next one will be interesting. I mean, that was just incredibly unlucky. Uh, oh, I was trying to snooker him uh, on that red, but it hasn't happened. So, half a chance here for Roddy. Where's the cue ball? Ooh. Well, I'd fully expect Ronnie to take the frame here. So, bit of a shame. Nicely done. It wasn't easy to get the pot and the position. He's not in perfect position yet. It looks like he might be nicely set for the black after this one. Oh, that was a difficult one that he took on there. He wants a bit of power on this shot if he's to get around the table for his next. He's looking rather laid back at the moment. But once you run out of position, it can be a nightmare trying to regain it. He got the black in his sights and knocked oh it home. Dear. I hope he's the best. The one near the black. It's simply a matter of which red to choose. Great shot. Mm. He should proceed with caution. I good. think he'll be targeting the black again. It's a good pot, and he's well poised for the next. Not safe. Don't know what he's rambling on about. It looks like there's a red available. You it's think, Davis? Just leaving that red over the, the corner pocket in case we... Uh, Break down, so if you if guys right think I forgot black, about it, you'll be on another red. I didn't. <laughs> it wasn't beyond uh, the rail, This so is a good chance now. You, you would there. suggest that we'll probably win the, the frame of the match oh, from here. Nicely there. That pot went down cleanly, and he's left himself on. He's potted it. That shouldn't hurt his confidence. He's spoilt for choice here. So, uh, 33 so ahead. There. Just two more reds, followed by... I beg your pardon. And 29 over. ahead, with 51 on the table, so... This red. The black. Looks like he's having a and go. And one more player. red. He'll be hoping he's done enough to sneak this frame. This one to make it safe. So just this red. On the yellow will please him here. Through to the next round, a lot easier than we anticipated. He's given himself a bit of breathing space here.
think he should have done a little better there, don't you? He doesn't want the cue ball to misbehave here. Well, I don't think we're... He's just got to put as many points on the board as he can. Could I really bother he knows he's straight out clearing up? You'll be annoyed with that. Probably miss this yellow again. And we do. But uh, with that break of 67, well, that miss. we take the third frame and we win the match by three frames to nil and dump Ronnie O'Sullivan out in the first round. We're very, very happy with that performance from us. We pretty much froze him out for the, the duration of the match. And, uh, well, we've got our just rewards there. And... Uh, there you go, we're through the quarterfinals. Uh, where we'll either be playing, obviously, Stephen Hendry or, or Dominic Dale. So we'll have a little look at that in uh, a second. But uh, no, very, very good performance. We go marching on in the UK Championships. Obviously, uh, probably the, the, well, definitely the second biggest ranking event of the season. But uh, right alongside the Masters is uh, part of the Triple Crown. So very happy with that so let's see Dominic Dale well he beat Stephen Hendry 3-0 goodness me uh, Joe Swale beat Mark Selby Mark Allen beat Gerard Green and Jamie Cole beat John Higgins 3-0 well this is a, a bit of a, uh, a bit of a crazy uh, bunch of results but uh yeah that is where we're going to leave it for this episode if you have enjoyed that then make sure you leave a like down below really does help me out it means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel for regular snooker content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye